Now, the second form of energy is potential energy. To understand potential energy, you have to understand these three examples. Uh, an arrow cannot be thrown to a long distance if the bow is not stretched. Isn't it? A hammer, if it is not raised to a height, it cannot hit the object in a proper manner. And if a spring is not compressed, it cannot go to a longer leap. So, these three things are doing work at a specific state or position. So, when the energy is obtained by an object due to its position or state is known as potential energy. Okay? So, by its definition, the energy stored in an object due to its position or state is known as potential energy. We write it as P dot E, potential energy. Expression for potential energy. To understand this, there is a small activity given in your textbook. The activity is, take a chalk in your hand, sit down on the floor and drop it. And then stand straight and then take the chalk to a height and drop it. You will find that the chalk breaks into pieces when you have increased the height. This means that the force is more when the height is raised. Okay? So here, suppose an object of mass m is raised to a height from the surface of the earth. This is the surface of the earth. From the surface of the earth, the object is raised to a height or distance, you can say. It is making a displacement of height h. Okay? So, it is getting the force developed due to the gravitational force of the earth. And this force is equivalent to m into g. Okay? So, when the object is the object having mass, M is making a displacement that is height h. Okay? And the acceleration on this object is due to the acceleration due to gravity. Acceleration on this object is acceleration due to gravity. So that is equals to g. Now we know the formula that work done in an object when height is raised, okay, is force into displacement but this force is due to the gravitational force. So I can write W is equal to mg and displacement is h. Okay? But the work done on this object is equivalent to potential energy on the object. 
Therefore, potential energy is equal to mgh. This is the expression for potential energy. It is asked for two marks. You have to copy down the expression for potential energy. There is a small activity given in your textbook. Ajay and Atul have been asked to determine the potential energy of a ball of mass and kept on table as shown in the figure. What answers they will get? Will they be different? What will you conclude from this? Now potential energy is relative term. It depends on the height of the ball or height of the object. When Atul gets the ball, he will experience less potential energy than Ajay because the height is increasing in case of Ajay. So remember, the potential energy is a relative term. Next, you have to understand transformation of energy. There is an activity given here. Can you tell which are the different forms of energy? Write down in your textbook. First example is a stretched piece of rubber. So when the rubber is stretched, it is having which energy? Yes, potential energy. Okay, so for first example you will write potential energy. Second one, fast moving car. Any object due to its motion, the energy is kinetic energy. The whistling of a cooker due to the steam. Here which energy is working? It is the heat energy or steam energy of the water. Okay. Then, the crackers exploded in Diwali. Which energy is stored in the uh, crackers? It is the chemical energy stored in the crackers. Then fan running on electricity. So which energy is working here? Electrical energy is converted into kinetic energy on the moving plates of the fan. The sixth one, drawing out pieces of iron from the garbage using a magnet. Here, the magnetic energy or the force of attraction of the magnet is the energy. The next one, breaking of a glass window pane because of a loud noise. It is sound energy. Got it? So we have to know the next part that energy cannot be stored into a place into one form only. Okay? Energy can be transformed from one form to the other form. And this is useful for us. Okay? Transformation of energy is useful for us. So we have to know this topic. Okay? Now, the different examples are shown in this chart. You have to learn this chart and you have to understand. Now, first form of energy if we take electrical energy. The first one. Okay? Electrical energy we can obtain due to the mechanical energy. Means mechanical energy of a generator can generate the electrical energy. So the arrow is from mechanical energy to electrical energy. And in the moving fan, what do you observe? The electrical energy is converted into mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is the combination of kinetic energy and potential energy. Okay? So, remember the arrows. Mechanical energy converted into electrical energy in a generator. Electrical energy get converted into mechanical energy in a fan. Okay? Or a motor. Mixer, grinder which we are using there electrical energy is getting converted into mechanical energy. The next one, light energy can converted into electrical energy in a solar cell with the use of sunlight. Okay? 
and electrical energy get converted into light energy in the electrical plant. For example, bulb, tube lights, all are working because of electrical energy. The next example, chemical energy. In a primary cell, the chemical energy get converted into electrical energy. Like battery or a cell, what energy is stored? Chemical energy. It is getting converted into electrical energy. Whereas in a secondary cell, the electrical energy is getting converted into chemical energy. Okay? Then sound energy. In a loudspeaker, the electrical energy is converted into sound energy. Whereas in a microphone, the sound energy is getting converted into electrical energy. Then heat energy. In a heater, electrical energy gets converted into heat energy. And in a thermocouple, the heat energy is getting converted into electrical energy. This chart is very important. You have to draw the complete chart. And remember the arrows. You should not do mistake in drawing the arrows. Now you have to understand law of conservation of energy. According to law of conservation of energy, energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. Okay? But it can be transformed from one form to another. This means total energy in the universe remains constant. The complete definition you have to copy down from the textbook. That energy can neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be transformed from one form to another. That means total amount of energy in the universe remains constant. So this is your law of conservation of energy. How will you prove law of conservation of energy? For this there is a small activity. You have to take a thread and take two knots of equal size. Tie them with two knots with the same thread in such a position that they are not touching or hitting each other while swinging. So this arrangement is known as coupled oscillators. Okay. Now what you will do? First you will take the nut one in your hand. Okay. And swing it. Okay. The moment you take the nut in your hand and release it, it will start swinging on its own. When this nut N1 will stop, you will find that nut N2 will start swinging on its own. How it has happened? The energy from nut 1, N1 has transferred to the nut N2. Okay? This example helps you to understand that energy can get transformed from one form or from one place to another place. Got it?